For those of you that are interested in uh, how Tina's car's going, um, the sill cover from the upside has um, been removed and we've started um, on a DA using 180 grit to remove some of the battle scarring. Um, that's going to be work some more and go up a few grits before priming and painting and refitting. But now the card is actually ready to have its um, G Technic serum uh, followed by EXO um, put on. But I want to do the interior first and get the wheels off and some other jobs before I actually do that. But the trim has had G Technic permanent trim restorer um, around all the black trim parts on the car. As you can see, we've spent quite a long time refining the finish. Um, to get it to where I want it to be um, as really I suppose a show car preparation but you know there's still lots to do on the detailing side you know I've not un done under the arches or the inside of the wheels although you know the wheels if you can see uh, any of them you know we have kept this car quite nice so they shouldn't take much doing but they, they've got to be coated anyway in wheel armour um, all the grills, the lower bumper and the uh, shield inside the, the vents um, has all been coated in um, the G-Technic ceramic coating. Um, the serum will go over um, the paintwork, the headlights. Uh, the rear lights, you know, everything really will be protected. The glass is going to have um, the G-Technic smart glass system uh, put on it. So that will protect that and water bead like crazy. Um, and I suppose, you know, that's about it really. Um, there's still lots to do, still lots of work, you know, in the places you won't see but I've got it to where I want it to be ready to actually put it amongst other ones um, and see if it gets us some work you know because I suppose at the end of the day you know you need to show your work off this particular job you know has been very labour intensive to get this finish but you know that doesn't depict you know what I can do you know, with less hours. Um, it's just that this I wanted as, uh, probably I could have got it flatter finish, you know, if I flatted the paintwork more, but, you know, like I said before, we want to keep the car, and if I want to polish it again in the future, I can, um, because I've not made it that flat, there's hardly any lacquer left, so there's plenty left on. The integrity is still there um, for future work if I want to do it um, and hopefully you know it'll help keep the value of the car as well you know it don't do many miles it's done 80 miles the last year uh, I want to try and do a few more this year but you know it's uh, either working or trying to get work or building um, doing stuff in the unit to try and make the unit look as nice as possible but you can't do everything at once so, you know, I'm going to use this car really as the advertisement for the work. So, but it does look fresh as a daisy. Now, it's 14 years old now. And, you know, I think you'll agree it looks a million dollars. So, um, the badges and uh, any exterior stuff that I have removed will go back on you know, after the coatings are put on. And, uh, I think I've mentioned a few times, it'll be G-Technic products that I use. 
you know, in my opinion, they are the best. Um, but that's only my opinion, you know, I'm not frightened of using other ones, but, you know, I, I think they do exactly what they're supposed to. So there you go, that's the progress report. Um, I'll do another one when it's all completed and the car's outside and see what it looks like in the sunlight. It should be dazzling, but we'll see. Well, thanks for watching all the uh, updates and that. And um, like I say, when it's finished, I'll, I'll do another one. See you later.